Well, I'm Jim McAlpin, director of the Crestone Science Center and a long-term OLT member. And uh, we're here at the new trench site, the 2012 trench site on the Sangre de Cristo Fault, just about a third of a mile north of the hot springs. And we dug this trench to find out when this fault moved last because this is the strand which is going to bend and go through the hot springs. You know, the hot springs are right on the range front fault, the Sangre de Cristo Fault, and your warm water is ascending up of that fault. But what you may not know is that every seven to 10,000 years, there's a magnitude seven earthquake on the Sangre de Cristo Fault, and it ruptures from the bottom of the crust all the way up to the ground surface and offsets the ground surface six feet. So we're trying to figure out when the last time that happened on the fault that goes right through the hot springs, right through the upper pools, and when it's likely to happen next. Try to get an idea of the probability of future earthquakes. So we dug this trench here uh, and to, to try to find some radiocarbon datable material that very closely dates the occurrence of the last six foot fault rupture event of the ground surface here and fortunately we found it we just collected the sample and now we're going to be able to know when the last rupture was through this hot springs area most of the ruptures along the range front fault look like they come up from the south uh, from the Crestone area up through a Cotton Creek a Major Creek and Garner Creek and then just north of Garner Creek most of the ruptures have splayed off to the northwest out onto the valley floor and headed out something we call the Villa Grove Fault Zone towards the town of Villa Grove. But every once in a while, one of these magnitude sevens doesn't take that path. Instead, it continues straight north. It goes through the hot springs and it has created a scarp right here. So we want to know how often that happens and when the last time it happened uh, to try to get an idea of the near future earthquake hazard at OLT.